week two at the boat. We haven't filmed very much this week because it's actually just been really boring what we've been doing. I'm quite soul destroying to be honest. If you have the money to pay to paint a boat, I would strongly suggest it. Yeah, pay to have someone do it. It's a very yeah. time consuming too. It's so time consuming and boring. But there we go. Anyway, anyway where it's something we've got to do because we can't put the windows in until we've painted. But what we have done, is you can see the boat. It's very sunny this morning. So we have the sanded the primer that was on it and touched up the primer. Then we've done one full coat of this like grey undercoat. I hope your actual paint can get more than that. We've sanded that back. We bought an orbital sander, which is the best investment we've made so far. <laughs> Yeah, we sanded the primer by hand and it was, um, yeah, painful. But the orbital sanders made light work of it. We did it all in one day. And then, would you want to hold on to it? I haven't got long, at arm, long enough arms. Um, and then we washed it down. The builders where we are have like hooked us up a hose pipe. So that's been much better than just buckets and a sponge. Yep. And now we're just going to go over it with white spirit and some cloths prepping it and then hopefully today yeah, we will coat. put a full coat of paint on the whole boat we always like have such highly Great ambitious. ambitious plans and then they don't seem to materialize and then we get a bit sad about it but hey ho so yeah we'll uh, give it a go and we'll update you hopefully yeah. some time lapses hopefully some good video from the rest of the day yeah bye Second coat done. Some bits look better than others. We've come to the conclusion that the warmer it is when you paint, the more like noticeable. It's like the paint starts to dry. I don't know if you're going to see can... it on camera, but. It's like just... the paint starts to dry as you bring over the like join. Whereas like this, we painted like once the sun had gone in and the still was because like even now the still is like really hot even though it's not that hot out here so temperature is key the cooler the better the cooler the still the better don't paint the still while it's hot but we managed to paint the whole boat yesterday in one day so that was impressive today we're gonna sand we've come up with the um it's a bit windy out actually you might not might be able to hear that um we're gonna just sand the bits so the two sides and the front where the windows need to go and concentrate on them um, so that we can put the windows in asap because this whole like having no windows 
It's a bit ineffective. It's a bit, yeah. We have to keep bulging the windows shut from the inside, but... There's so much gaffer tape on the inside. But, but if you can get two coats of gloss on, then we can actually mount the windows. Yeah. To be fair, the undercoat, now we've put a second coat on, looks like a good, solid base. It's more green than grey, though. I'm hoping that doesn't affect the next colour. So, test panel. We'll I'm be so doing excited, the test panel here. yeah. This panel, we will put this a coat of gloss on. This is window, by the way. Instead of, so most narrowboats have like doors. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> now it's around you. <laughs> um, most narrowboats have windows, uh, doors, but because this is going to be our bedroom, we were never going to use the door. So we just said, why don't we have a massive window? It's got to be a certain size so that it's technically an escape route, but the glass yeah. comes out and just a whopper of a window so we'll paint this panel hopefully tonight yeah see what the color looks like we'll update you on what the color looks like hopefully it's gonna be sick might need a couple of coats to probably come through but yeah yeah we'll see um so today we're just gonna sand, sand clean and some odd jobs to do inside as well yeah so we're gonna try and put all of the bottom boards on properly and now we've made like the extra bit for the back boxes for the plugs and then hopefully mark out the top boards and cut out the window holes before we put the windows in because that makes more sense to yeah. do that. So here we go. So yeah, we'll try and keep you updated. We've been rubbish at filming this week because I think we've just been so it's really, monotonously painting. It's a very long and time consuming activity which just yeah. involves a lot of very similar to it's a couple of what they're called. It's not on stop motion, but oh, it's in time, time lapses. lapses yeah. See you again, but See catch up with you in a bit. Um, so today we have started to try and like line out some of the boards on the back. So we fitted the back panel, which is kind of tricky because it has like an arc and then like lines that come down. Like it was just a very awkward shape, but that's in and I think it looks quite good. And then we have just fitted, we're going to have to do like an upshot, a ceiling panel to, um, we could stand like up. Two. And then, yeah, there you go. So we've got so, three panels worth here. On the ceiling. So that's about, about 10 foot worth. Yep. Um, Still got a long way to go, yeah. as you can see. So what we're gonna do now is try and put up this wall panel here. And then we'll go outside and draw around the porthole. Um, we cut some windows. Yeah. And we've also done a lot of painting so far today. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you that later. Again, my head is out completely. Sorry. It's not, well, it's just, you know, it's not my hard, but <laughs> cool. Catch you in a bit. So we're going home because we've battled a problem. Frustration has got the better of us today, so we are 
trying our best to yeah. finish on a high or just cut our losses and go right let's, cutting our losses that, let's be done for the day let's not make anything any worse than it has to be yeah and then we're in London there. for two days so. and then we're working and then we're back here so yeah. five days in a row at the boat it's not too bad but it is a fair amount so basically it was the first piece of top the wall wall if you turn around this this it. monstrosity here there's like a like there's a, a gap triangle. we'll show you our mistakes there is a gap there is an issue i think it's because these four buttons are exactly in line and then it comes up slightly at the end yeah we think the boat like comes up either way anyway it needs fixing we'll leave it like this for now and we'll come up with a solution because we can't i can't live with it like this but, but we've done some more ceiling boards more ceiling we've put all seats. of the back boxes in you may have to just stop me sorry i mean you turn around in circles like and then pulled the cable through and so, like some for a 12 volt charger so we'll remount those in the not too distant future properly we've ordered more wood so hopefully that arrives before the weekend yeah um yeah. yeah, that's it for inside, and we'll show you the outside in a moment. Yeah, see you in a sec, show you the outside. Right, here we are. First side wall done in what will be the finished colour. We rushed it this morning. Well, not rushed, but we went nice and quickly so that we uh, could beat the sun. It's nice and overcast now, so it's not too hot for the steel, and hopefully the colour will all set as nice. One nice smooth pattern. Uh, I like it. It's definitely lilac-y, purpley, but I don't know what you want to call it. RAL 4009, a technical term. Yeah, hopefully it all dries nice and smoothly. Another coat to go on, so the colour will come through even more. It's obviously got like greenish, greyish undercoat on, but yeah, pretty happy with it all. Hopefully it all looks pretty good once it's all said and done. But...